When you think of drag or drag queen or drag race, what do you think of? Something surprise with a big boobs. Mm -hmm. Big lot boobs? Of, yeah, big boobs, a lot of dancing. Uh -huh. Singing, do they sing? Sometimes. Yeah. So my father, I invited him to go to a drag show in Austin when I was visiting. How was that? Um, You're gonna purposefully go to right. a gay bar in Austin right. with your son right. to see drag queens. Right. Great. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eugene. Hi, my name is Sang. I also go by Kimchi. I was on season eight of RuPaul's Drag Race. I was in the top three. I, I was gonna say you were robbed, but I do love Bob. I was bobbed. <laughs> I, was bobbed. <laughs> I wanted to bring you here to talk about what it's like to be a person of color in the LGBT community. Perfect. A lot of the fans that come out to see me at my shows are majority Asian. And then during meeting grace, they'll tell me stories about, you know, like their struggles with their family and they're like, I relate to you so much, which is really cool. The entire like country of Korea is very religious and yeah. conservative, right? I was Presbyterian growing up. Were you? Me oh, too. Yeah, Korean Presbyterian. <laughs> you know? What's up? Growing up, I grew up in a small town of Michigan. After my parents separated, my mom raised us just on her own by working as a server in a restaurant. And there were some Asian people there, but it was mostly all white. I never really had like an Asian figure to look up to. The only people that I knew in the media were Sandra O oh and Margaret Cho. Yes. And I feel like they're like two polar opposites. Would you be the Margaret or the Sandra here? Um, I'm definitely the Margaret because my face is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dad. Hi. Hi, we're here in Austin, Texas at your home. Welcome home, Eugene. Thanks, my hometown. What a drag show. Dragging somebody, or something bad. Maybe a little bit of that. Uh, we're gonna good. go to, we're gonna go to uh, one of the Austin gay bars wow. uh, tonight to watch the uh, famous Drag Queen review there at Oil Can Harry's. Daddy, we're gonna go gay bars tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and you've never been in a gay bar, right? Oh, I went to one time. Why? Washington DC. We walk in Georgetown Street. Uh-huh. We just went into some nightclub and everybody watching at me. I said, Oh, somebody told me that's a gay bar. Oh. See, I was good looking. <laughs> was good looking? Yeah. Still good looking. Thank you. Yeah, but that might happen tonight then. Oh, I'm too old. Well, there's, there's scenes for everything, Dad. He had actually never been to a bar since the 70s. Oh my God. He just hadn't been out. Downtown for young people. Uh, too much crime there. Now it's gonna be for you too, because you're gonna go out. Well, I got Eugene gonna protect me. Yeah, from all the, the people who are gonna hit on you because right. you're so handsome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my dad asked what I was doing that night and then he just kind of looked at me for a longer second and I said, do you want to come with me? And he said, Daddy. We're gonna go gay bus tonight. Okay, I think maybe. So then he calls his girlfriend, who's my stepmom, mm -hmm. Brenda. I say stepmom because it's dumb to say dad's girlfriend for over 10 years. My hot mama. My hot mama. <laughs> she ain't Korean. Uh, is this her last name song? No, <laughs> no, not Brenda Song. Of course, my dad's with Brenda Song. He's living that sweet life. But um, I, they decided to like throw caution in the wind and come out with me. Brenda, you've been to a drag show before, right? In 19. So I know you're gonna have a great time. How do you think my dad's gonna react? Oh, he'll just be nice and polite. <laughs> he thought when he was going there that he was gonna be tipping people. Like he thought it was, his mind went to strip show. Under, under. No, these are not strippers. <laughs> That's my old dad. Oh God, dad. That wasn't an old dad. So, so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, dad, you're just gonna hand it to them. Under, See? Under. No, no, not the boobs either. Just, just the hand, dad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because I said make it rain. Yeah, because I told him to get dollar bills. Yeah, because always tip your queens. Yeah. This is gonna be way more tame than his stuff. <laughs> sure, Dad. Okay. Well, the bar is right there, right behind you. I think that people don't talk about it as much as LGBT people. We sometimes forget the the people of color in that community. Drag Race is a really interesting example of where it comes out to the forefront. Like yeah. there's a lot of racial discussion on Drag Race. My only goal like going to the show was, you know, just to be like authentic self and then like never play into like the Asian stereotypes because that's not what I do. Yeah, that's why we're sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Sister from another fister. Sisters from, <laughs> you say from another fister? Yeah. Um, you catch that, everyone catch that? It's fisting like when you- We know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know nobody. Oh my God.
Oh, oh, you, saw, you saw the fatherhood video. Yes, the fatherhood video. Yeah. It was amazing. Honestly, I wish. No. You want to talk about progress? This is going to be his first time visiting a gay bar. It's like he's never been inside of one. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. 9271. Oh, God. Okay, this is his story. You're already loved. You're recognized. You are very, very recognized. Can I get you? This is one of the performers tonight. Yeah, she's going to be performing. Brenda, say hi. Watch your step. Watch that. 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 They're, they're skipping in the show as well, right? Yeah. Great. For you, I'm curious, what initially brought you to drag? I'm an accidental drag queen. I just imagine you just like slipped one day and, and like, it just whoops, whoops, there's a dress. <laughs> so my best friend at the time, he was like, I'm gonna do a drag for fun on Halloween. Do you wanna do it with me? And I was like, all right, I guess I could try it. And then both of us ended up getting booked for a show that night. Someone's just like, wearing drag, you were just, someone was like, Huh, she's beautiful, darling. She'll make oh, it big. Like, oh, you ladies look amazing. Do you want to do a show here? And we're like, okay. <laughs> and then the uh, promoter for that circuit party asked me to be a host. And then I became their main host. And wow. then eventually I became their art director. Wow. And then soon after that, I was working almost every night in drag. I quit my serving job. I quit my graphic design job. So you're a graphic designer before that? Yeah. Oh, so that's where your, the eye comes from, like your yeah. artistic eye. Do we have any lesbian friends in the house tonight? One, two. Bitch, you are raising your hand for everything. <laughs> So you've traveled a lot to do drag. So one of my favorite places that I've ever been to is Taiwan. Taiwan, they call it the hidden gay mecca, because a lot of people don't know that they're the first Asian country to legalize gay marriage. Damn, Taiwan. And obviously, I'm performing in Korea. It's always my favorite. Mm -hmm. The gays in Asia like aren't as like out and about, you know? Mm -hmm. One thing I like about America is how lesbians and gays, they all go to the gay bars, mm -hmm. right? But Korea, for example, um, women aren't allowed to enter a gay club and men aren't, aren't allowed to enter lesbian clubs. Because really? they've had issues in the past where like women will come into a gay club and they'll be like a religious activist. So then they'll take videos and pictures of people that are in the club and out them online. Oh, wow. Do we have any gay people in the house tonight? When I talk about being a person of color in the queer community uh, with some stricter family elements, a lot of people who can equate uh, have religious backgrounds. Yeah. You know, this sort of hush hush, don't talk about it. Um, I've had a lot of friends who've had to like either leave their families or were disowned because of things like religion. Um, so it's, it's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. I know on Drag Race you brought up um, talking about your mom mm -hmm. and she didn't know that you were a drag queen. So my family grew up very poor and you know, like working as a server in a tiny Korean restaurant in Michigan, you don't really make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So then after I made it to RuPaul's Drag Race, I sent her like a good sum amount of money. And then she was suspicious. So she Googled um, like my email that I sent the money through. Oh, so she saw this beautiful woman pop up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she was probably freaked out because she'd never seen anything like that in her life, yeah. you know? So then she calls me and the first thing she asks is, so how much money do you make doing this? Right. Which, and I told her, and she was like, you know what? I fully support you. Keep living your dream, <laughs> do whatever you want to do. They see happiness maybe being equated to also how how comfortable you are. Comfortable and financial stability. If they see that I'm doing well for myself and that I have a job that I'm passionate about, then they kind of think that's a language they can say, oh, I support that, right? Yeah. It's kind of like a weird way for them to say, I think I understand what you're doing, <laughs> as long as you're eating and you're not too skinny. But it's crazy like the shift didn't change because when I first came up to my mom like several years ago, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing she said was, you know, like, you're my son, I still love you no matter what. Then she followed up by saying like, but just whatever you do, don't tell your brother or your dad. My mom said something similar. Did she really? Very similar, yeah. And then she yeah. fucking told my dad. Did she really? Yeah. Hi, what, who, who are, who's this at the table? I know who you are, gorgeous. Thank you for being your parents, correct? And this is your first time in the gay club? What's the ghost hill show for my breakfast?
I think what was great about bringing my dad to a drag show was that it did exemplify the evolution of our relationship mm -hmm. and that even older people from conservative backgrounds, from ethnic backgrounds, can grow. One of the, the best things you can do to introduce your family to the LGBT community is like seeing drag. It's just it's just amazing. You can appreciate it because it's art on so many levels. It's performance, it's comedy, it's dance. He had a great time. So what did you think of the drag show? That was fun, lifetime experience. What did you like most about it? Lip sync. Those people watching out there who have conservative families mm -hmm. or are from a background of color uh, or a religious background, you know, engage your families as much as you can. And if you feel like there's an opening, go for it. Did you like the bar? Yeah, yeah. that was good. Do you think you'll go again sometime? Not me. No? No. What about in LA? Can I take you in LA? I'll think about it. Okay. I was surprised when he said he wanted to go, but in the end, it was a very fun experience for both of us. Well, it means a lot to me that you'd come out to my type of bars with my type of shows. He got in the car and said, that was on my bucket list. And then he goes, well, not really, but I just put it on the bucket list and now it's done. <laughs> I, I don't, so mission complete. People come around eventually. Not everyone's gonna be your friend's mom named Shannon who comes like to every gay bar yeah. and like is like, well, we're getting drunk, <laughs> They'll be their own version of that. Exactly. To their own comfort. So I think that everyone should just know that, you know, everyone has their own path and story. Yeah. But to all the Shannons out there, thank you for being you. Yeah. And for everyone that's not, um, become successful, then tell your parents. <laughs>I gotta ask you how quickly you decided to be kimchi. The very first time I went out, I didn't care what my drag name was. So my drag name was Disney Princess. Cause I was... <laughs>